Hello, so today we're going to take a quick look at Prime OS, which is an Android based operating system designed for your desktop or laptop. Out of the box, it doesn't come installed with Keep, WhatsApp, Recorder, Netflix, Blue Mail, Docs, or Spotify. I've installed them myself. Down at the bottom right here, you have your notification panel where you can control your brightness, sound, and you've got your Wi Fi toggles battery and a few others there. You can edit those, close apps and also open the settings. So we've just opened the settings here. Control your Wi-Fi, your connection. So if we just go onto display, you can't do too much here. You could just put everything on small so you can fit as much as you can on the screen. I don't think you can edit the size of the bottom bar or move its position. So if we just scroll all the way down, we'll go to the Prime OS specific settings and then you've got some keyboard shortcuts there as well. So as you can see, Prime OS is still in beta. We'll just quickly check for some updates. No updates. Let's close that. So you've got your home button, your back button and your application launcher which is tied to the Windows key. It's got a nice transparent effect when you open it and you can type and then launch a program. Out of the box it uses FX as its file manager which also has support for external hard drives and your disk drives that are already on. So here's all your Android root folder. Chrome opens up full screen and it's almost like having a fully fledged desktop browser. There's a few little glitches here and there but it's been okay. Netflix works full screen including the downloads for offline viewing. So Blue Mail is a nice email client that I use. Spotify works brilliantly. So if we open up the App Store here, the Play Store, and we'll just install a few apps like Snapchat, which seems to work okay. Apart from the cameras rotated the wrong way. But, you know, who really uses Snapchat on a laptop? Let's just minimise that. So now here, if you click this button, you can close all of the currently running instances of any apps. So if we just open a couple of things open, we'll uh, demonstrate that now. And we click close all, boom, all gone. Alright, so if we have a look at the wallpaper selections and how you change it, you can do this in the settings or just hold right click in the middle of the screen and it will let you do it like that. This is the default one. It seems to have a bit of a problem here thinking there's a multiple home screen so it stretched it a bit. But once I'd restarted it that had, that glitch had disappeared and it was fine. And then this button here allows you to power off, restart or sleep your machine. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.